How's it going folks? Um, excuse the, the year piece, I still can't find my microphone so I'm using the headphones to record this. Uh, yeah, just a little bit of an update. Uh, I was going to post a video to, for supporters uh, on Sunday uh, after the hangout just to let you know we we're all fine and all the rest of it. Uh, but our power was cut. Um, we went out for a little while, did a little bit of filming, some of which you'll see in a tick, and um, came home and it was pretty much all, yeah, no power. Uh, so I uh, wasn't able to upload it at the time, but I thought I'd just give you a bit of a gander anyway. Um, just to begin with though, I'll let, fill you in if you're not familiar. Um, Ipswich is on the Bremer River and it does tend to flood at times, normally not that drastic, um, but over the last oh, 10 or 11 years uh, we've had some doozies. Uh, we had a bad one in 2011, the river rose for about 19.4 metres or that many feet. And um, back in 2013, a couple of years later, we had another one, not quite so bad, 13.9 metres, I think. Um, so it's just one of those things when you live on a river system, um, you've got to be aware that there is flooding. Um, so yeah, um, last week we had a fair bit of rain. Basically, they, they called the system a rain bomb, um, a uh, weather system just sat over southeast Queensland and just basically delivered buckets of rain. I've just been joined by a butcher bird. Um, so that went on for three or four days. Um, and on the 26th, it pretty much all the, uh, the water hit Ipswich um, pretty hard um, down the system. We ended up with um, 13 something metres. And that's pretty much all where um, this bit of vision is shot. Um, we were in the underground car park at the local shopping centre. We affectionately called River Stink or Riverlink. And um, yeah, the, it was pretty obvious then that we were going to have at least some sort of flooding. Um, we did hear on the news though that we weren't supposed to be getting much more than the 2013 flood of around about 13.9. I have an alarm going off, just excuse me. Um, but it ended up climbing a little bit further than that. Um, down the end of our road at that point in time, the water was just over a small section of the road and uh, the playing field so we weren't too concerned especially after hearing um, what we heard news wise uh, then the next morning um, in, on the 27th uh, around about midday the river peaked at 14.3 meters which is pretty much well when i shot this footage here when we went down to check out the boat ramp that is kira and bianca saving earthworms <laughs> and this is the bremer river uh, this is Fitzgibbon Street, the street we were um, staying on while the house was being renovated. And hopefully most of these folks here are high and dry. Um, that house down through there um, is like ours, it's raised on stumps as are many. But the flood level is no greater, oh actually it's just greater than the 2013 flood. Uh, but nowhere near as bad as the 2011 flood. Just to show you, that's the uh, cottage we lived in while the house was being renovated. And that's where I was standing down there, behind those strange looking couple of people walking up the hill. Uh, you might be able to make out just below the tree line in the distance, that's the other side. Actually, that's the other side of the football field, and the river actually goes beyond that again. So quite a bit of water has fallen. Uh, a friend of Bianca's out at Moggle said they had over 400 millimetres last night. Uh, 450. How much did Mark have at Moggle? How much did Mark get at Moggle last night? Uh, 479, 479 millimetres, which is a lot of inches. So this is the Bremer River out the back of River Stink Shopping Centre. Over there is a little parkland, or it should be a little parkland. That's where they have the little dinosaur show at night. And this little bridge, um, we took some video from downstream as we were driving over um, to see if Kira's work was flooded in the centre of Ipswich. So um, it's not flooded, but they've shut it up for the day. So yes, there is a lot of water moving through Ipswich at the moment. Uh, speaking to our neighbour on the way back from, to the house from the boat ramp, and she said that um, a few of the people right down the back there have already moved out. Um, so they knew it was coming, even though their houses probably won't be hit by the water. So anyway, I thought I'd just leave this little update here for you folks who are supporting us. I didn't really um, go out much after that. Um, we didn't go out on the 28th, which was when the, uh, flood, had, the flood peaked at 16.75 metres. Uh, now they're playing with the wind chimes. 
Um, the, the, um, yeah, the river definitely peaked a lot higher than 2013, not as high as... Hey, sweetie. And um, yeah, we ended up with um, a few houses down the bottom of our block pretty much well um, flooded. Uh, I did see though, there was plenty of warning this time, a lot more than 2011. And a lot of the guys a couple of days beforehand had moving trucks out the front and they were getting everything out of their houses. And yesterday, um, the, the cleanup crews had already been through. Um, by the time we drove down to see what was going on, a lot less houses were affected. So that, that's, that's a bit of a bonus. Um, but yeah, us here, we, we were, were without power until yesterday afternoon and yeah, had a, a bit of an interesting time with um, not having any power for a number of days because my batteries wouldn't have held out that long. Um, so I didn't record anything at the time um, uh, power-wise, but I did record some of the bits and pieces that went on with the system and how we had to handle just so much rain. Um, basically buckets, literally buckets were falling at some stages. Yeah, I'll turn that into a bit of a video and post it online on the weekend, but I just thought I'd post this one now. A few folks to have a bit of a gander at and yeah just see how we did through the flood um, there's actually another video i shot but never got to put up from last week so i might pop that up a little bit later this week uh, just looking at the butcher birds and the state of the yard which just flip the camera around hasn't really changed much except the grass has got a little bit taller and we built a little bit of a tent um, canopy to go over the top of the generator in case we ended up getting any more rain but you'll see that on the follow-up clip uh, down here the aquaponics is looking pretty green and yeah can't really complain and there's my little butcher bird friend over there little juvenile but i will pretty much will leave it there folks um i'll get this uploaded hopefully this afternoon and the video looking at these guys having a bit of a feast um later on in the week cheers all take it easy